There are two ways to make money in this world. You can take value from others, or you can create value. There's nothing else. My life is deeply rooted in the belief that the first option is inherently wrong. That we can't even consider it because of the devastation that it leaves in its wake. Taking generally starts small, but it grows, reinforcing a culture that, at its best, serves to impoverish people, and at its worst, leaves masses dying or dead. Creating value is the true solution to our problems. In the creation sphere, we can focus either on things that obviously hold value, inherent value, or we can focus on things that people assign value to that may or may not hold true inherent value. No matter which we focus on, trends are being created. But for an investor, one of these methods holds dramatically more risk. Something that holds perceived value can lose that perceived value. So if we can't determine the inherent value, the risk is much higher. Something that has true value, inherent value, can be pursued with dramatically less risk. If we live in a desert, for example, and uh, find a well with clean water, we can know that that resource holds value. If we find a fancy looking piece of machinery, it may hold value, it may not. You don't really know. So investing the time and effort to drag that piece of machinery back to civilization to see if you can sell it, it's a risk. And you don't really know how much of a risk. So when a resource definitely holds value, the time that you invest securing it, um, capturing that, that value is worthwhile. Uh, that water definitely holds value in a desert. Uh, protecting it from being contaminated and, and preserving it, that's more likely to be valuable. In the same token, investing in things with inherent value is much, much safer. But the general rule of thumb is that when everybody knows something holds value, the price is much more likely to reflect that. So the potential gains uh, are generally much lower. The unknowns are what provide us with greater profit potential, but it's an unknown likelihood of success. Um, and the knowns, the knowns uh, provide us with value, but generally lower returns because everybody knows it holds value. The key is trying to balance those out effectively, uh, funneling some of our resources from each win into something that holds that inherent value. Um, and then using the unknowns to try to capture the extreme value with the remainder of the funds. And the goal for me is to pursue a collection of things with that inherent value, that fundamental value. Things that can provide my necessities, my family's necessities. We can create financial anchors that lock in a higher floor if we fail. Um, in our career, in uh, a startup, in whatever we're working on. And that way we don't fall to zero. We're taken care of in times of chaos because we've got a higher floor um, for our finances, for our lifestyle. After that, we can build and create without that ultimate risk of losing our basic necessities. And so it allows us to focus more deeply on our creative goals. We can pursue value creation full time. 
That's what I believe we should be doing right now. If you don't hold silver or some asset of fundamental value, now is the time to start doing some research. Uh, we don't want to be caught on our back foot when this chaos hits. There's... There's so much going on right now that puts us at risk. So be careful. Make sure you and your family are secure. Uh, and, and ask yourself, what, what am I doing that creates value? What am I doing that will allow me to capture and retain uh, enough value to continue in my current lifestyle? Know those answers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your viewership. I'm considering doing a deep dive on options trading soon, possibly a workshop. Uh, let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd be interested in. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thanks.